Americans are turning to their credit cards right now when it comes to buying those everyday needed purchases or paying monthly bills. And this watching your wallet, consumer investigator Rachel DePampa has ways you can dig yourself out of debt. Only 40% of Americans recognize carrying a balance on a card can hurt their credit, according to a new NerdWallet report. And this is significant as we continue to deal with inflation. Many Americans now saying they're now paying late fees on bills and using credit cards to cover the cost of necessities. And while a third of Americans say they're using credit cards to pay for necessities in order to accumulate rewards or cash back, 16% admit they didn't have the money to pay for these expenses outright. That means they're taking on debt to buy those needed purchases. It is hard out there still. Prices are still high and interest rates are still hovering on average over 22%. So when you do get into credit card debt, it's really expensive and it could be really hard to get yourself out. And so that's where you really need to revisit your budget, revisit your sources of income, see if you can make some changes to better able afford those day-to-day -day purchases. It's easier said than done, but Rathner says it's better to avoid credit card debt as much as you can because it's so expensive right now. And she says missing a payment is one of the worst things you can do. Late fees kick in for credit cards if you miss your payment due date. And if you're more than 30 days late, that could affect your credit score pretty significantly around 100 points. So it's absolutely something you wanna try avoiding. What you can do if you make at least the minimum payment, by the due date, and if possible, pay more if you can. And even better, pay the bill completely in full, and then you avoid debt entirely. Rathner says earning rewards points on credit cards is good, but it only works if you're paying off your bills in full and on time each month. It's not working for you if you are carrying a balance each month. With this Watching Your Wallet, I'm Rachel DePampa.